Plants synthesize a vast array of defense compounds that are important for surviving attack from herbivores and pathogens. Defense compounds are, however, costly for plants to produce. Therefore, plants appear to move defense compounds around as required, much like nations move troops around to defend critical borders. Plants have developed different strategies for moving and shaping the distribution pattern of their defense compounds. In cassava, the tubers receive their defense compounds from leaves. In tobacco, all nicotine that ends up in leaves is synthesized in the roots. In oilseed rape, the high level of glucosinolate defense compounds in seeds is synthesized elsewhere and imported to the seeds. Our goal is to understand how plants orchestrate their allocation of defense compounds through transport processes. We use the plant Arabidopsis with the defense compounds glucosinolates as model system. Recently, we identified two transporters that when eliminated from the genome, resulted in a plant with no glucosinolates in the seeds. The finding was a major breakthrough and provided the scientists at Dynamo Center with a unique molecular tool to study transport processes of defense compounds in plants. When we analyzed these transporter mutants, we made an observation which was at the time unexpected for us. We compared normal plants to the transporter mutants before bolting. And we found that a certain type of glucosinolates were over accumulating in these leaves and they were gone in the roots. So this made us think that the roots were a sink for these glucosinolates uh, before bolting. But this wasn't the fact. In fact, the roots were making these glucosinolates, and when the transporters were not there, they were rushed via the xylem up to the rosette where they were then stuck. So this ascribed an additional function for the transporters, which was storage of a certain type of glucosinolates in the roots. Plants are constantly under attack from herbivorous insects. In Arabidopsis, glucosinolates accumulate along the leaf margin and the vasculature. Accordingly, insects typically avoid feeding at the margin and feed instead at the leaf lamina, which contains less glucosinolates. No synthesis occurs at the margin. Therefore, transport processes were hypothesized to be involved in getting the glucosinolates to the margin. Scientists at Dynamo have used the transporter mutant to investigate this hypothesis. Much to our surprise, more glucosinolates accumulated along the leaf margin in the transporter mutants. This showed that the transporters are not required for accumulation of glucosinolates at the leaf margin. Instead, the transporters are responsible for accumulation and storage of glucosinolates along the vasculature, and in the absence, glucosinolates move along the vasculature to the leaf tip. We are only beginning to understand the intricate dynamics of transport of defense compounds. We believe that the lessons learned from glucosinolate transport are transferable to other plant species and that this will inspire the study of transport of defense compounds as well as specialized metabolites.